How do you explain the start to that grade? Well, I thought the line, they went out. Four check target you know, down in their zone, and Puck, you know, had a little time there, and they'd come back. I think they, you know, they were ready to go, come back in our zone. We do a good job breaking a play up in a slot. We get a puck, we don't get it out. You know, they, they battle it, and, and they make a play, and it's one up and it's that quick. James Thompson coming off the bench. Did you break it? No, just, and then, and then they follow up on the second yeah, goal. Yeah, same kind of thing. I mean, just the slot's open. You know, we're running to outside and not stopping and, and just protecting that area where the you know, puck is. Puck's behind in that bad stick. You know, no slot awareness by the winger or the centerman. Two nothing. How do you how do you prevent that? Well, we just keep practicing and working on it. Guys got to be committed, more committed, and um, you know, we just a better start for sure. Just you know, better start last game. I thought our start was good, but we still made two mistakes in our net. And we just touched on it, but that slot awareness, the numbers have been bad all, all year in the slot. Yeah. Just, why do you think that's been? Well, I think there's times that, you know, we we just, we chase too much, you know, instead of just, you know, keeping them on the outside and have a little composure and protecting that slot area and waiting for, you know, a broken play or a block shot or anything like that, you know. We just got to, we got to have more patience there and we, we really don't. Is that pretty much your message during the timeout? Yeah. Uh, also, we have a lot of hockey left, which, you know, I thought that we did a good job of getting ourselves back in the game. You know, we had plenty of opportunities to score goals. Um, you know, we missed on a lot of good chances, but um, that is, that's the game. Chief, you have that, that uh, net empty uh, and allow a, a shorthanded empty netter. I mean, what, what went wrong on that play? Well, we threw the puck away blind, and then they got it, and we don't, we should have, we should have gone right on the guy and killed him the play and we didn't do that and they got they got their goal six on four don't need to throw it away at that point you know any so, thoughts any thoughts maybe to go into the conventional power play there or were you just or were you set uh, no not really no i think you know, we had a great look right before that too so no i thought we, we're gonna we're gonna win the game we're gonna have, have a six on four does it make it both these games does it make it extra frustrating that you got back to four and three, and you're close to tying it up. Yeah, it's frustrating for sure. Um, it's frustrating with um, the starts, you know, more than anything, the mistakes. It's not it's not being prepared to play. They're prepared to play, and they prepare themselves to play. It's just mistakes at the start of games and center net. we got to we got to stop doing that. we got to be smarter than that. Uh, Perico dash four, and he got bumped down in the third period. Would you say not have a good game? Is it tentative, you know, it seems like a little bit tentative and uh, just not assertive enough, not assertive enough, assertive enough with the puck. Is this tonight or has this been ongoing with him? Well, it's not all the time, but I mean, he's definitely had, not had the year that we expect him to have or he expected. Example on the, on the fourth goal, just taking care of the puck better yes. there? Putting it in deep. And yeah, no, we beat it to death with him, but any chance of him to come in more assertive? I'm sure you're preaching it. He's played a lot of good hockey here over the years, so I'm sure that he's going to get back to that. 